Okay, in this video, we're actually going to do three benchmarks that we've never done before. And I'm going to do it on the Motorola Atrix 4G cell phone that I have here. Now, the benchmarks we're going to do are called Neocore, and Tutu, and Vilamo. I'm going to go down here. I've already downloaded these. And the first one we're going to do, since we might as well do it alphabetically, is Antutu. So we're going to run this benchmark here and we're going to see what results we get. Now right now it just shows scores and I haven't run a test yet so they're all zero. I'm going to go over here to the test tab and I'm just going to use all the default information here and on the bottom it says start test so I'm going to start the test right now. It's testing the CPU and memory right now. Now it's testing the CPU float performance. and testing graphics now with OpenGL. Those are little androids on skateboards by the way. I'm hovering around 51 frames per second here. And those are knights swinging their swords. Hovering around 45, 46, 47 frames per second, 48, 49. 50 frames per second, 51, 52, 52. testing database 3D performance, testing SD card write speed, testing SD card read speed. There we go, the test is completed and the RAM score, I'm just gonna run these down for you the RAM score is 584. The CPU integer score is 1097. The CPU float point is 1028. The 2D graphics score is 296. The 3D graphics score is 1106. The database I.O. score is 305. The SD card write score is 8.9 megabits per second. The SD card read score is 158 at 15.8 megabits per second. And the total score is 4,663. And the CPU frequency is 1,000 megahertz, and, uh, which is one gigahertz. And uh, it gives me the date here. So I'm gonna submit the scores here. And it gives rankings by country, and it seems as if somebody in Japan has a very high score of uh, 7,714. My score is 4,663, and I'm ranked number 46,346. Very interesting. So that was Antutu. The next one we're going to move on to is Neocore. And it's made by Qualcomm here. And it looks pretty graphically cool. Let's hit the run button here. Oh, we get music here too. Okay, we're gonna run the benchmark here. And let's see what we get here. fifty four point one frames per second 
All right, only one more left. One more benchmark left, and we're going to do Velamo. And we're going to hit start down here. And it says loading web code. This is test one of 11, see the sun canvas. Test two of 11, deep sea canvas. Test three of 11, aquarium canvas. Now a lot of these are HTML5 tests. Test 4 of 11, Pixel Blender. Test 5 of 11, Surf Wax Binder. Test 6 of 11, Sun Spider. Test 7 of 11, V8 Benchmark. Test 8 of 11, Ocean Flinger. This is testing the scroll ability of the phone. Test 9 of 11, Image Flinger. This is testing the scrolling ability of the phone with large images. Test 10 of 11, Text Flinger. So I assume this is testing the scrolling ability of the phone with a lot of text. And the final test, which is test 11 of 11, Networking Loader. Okay, and it's done. I have a Velamo score here. It says, Velamo Sings, 672 as your score. You can now compare your device's performance with other similar products. Your device's score and system information will be sent to the server. Should I allow it? Of course I would, because I want to actually see how it compares to the other phones. So here we go, here are the results, and the first one on the list here is the Galaxy Tab 10.1. The second on the list is the HTC Sensation. The third one is the Evo 3D, and then here's my score right here. So mine comes fourth on the list. Uh, fifth on the list is the MyTouch 4G. Sixth on the list is the Desire S. And seventh on the list is the Atrix 4G running Froyo. And eighth on the list is the Nexus One. Ninth is the Galaxy S Vibrant. And rounding out the tenth spot is the Droid 2 running Froyo. So those are the Antutu, Neocore, and Velamo benchmarks on my Motorola Atrix 4G running Gingerbread. So that pretty much does it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.